everybody who's turned out here today because I think this is one of the most important demonstrations we've ever had on Palestine. And I think it's the most one of the most important for this reason, not just because it is the anniversary of the Nakba, the catastrophe when Palestinians were driven from their homes and their lands. Not just because we are celebrating that anniversary at a time when Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu are trying to destroy even more of Palestinian land and Palestinian livelihood. We're here to say that the Palestinians have the right to return to Palestine. Every Jew in the world, every Jewish person in the world has the right to go and live in the state of Israel. But this is a right which is denied to the Palestinians even though their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents live there. And this is a basic injustice which has to end. And we have to support its ending. But I also think this demonstration is important because of what it says about our solidarity movement. We have to build this movement into a mass movement which can prevent what is happening to the Palestinians and show solidarity with the Palestinians. Because what Trump is doing with moving the embassy to Jerusalem, with recognizing Israel's rights over Golan and the West Bank, large parts of the West Bank, what he's doing is trying to ensure that there is no existence of the Palestinian people. We say the Palestinians have the right to exist, they have the right to resist, and we will back them in with every bone in our body to make sure that they can do that. And the problem for our government, because this isn't just Trump, it's not just Netanyahu, it's Theresa May, it's Sisi in Egypt, it's Ben Salman in Saudi Arabia. It is a load of absolutely rotten leaders who will accept what is happening to the Palestinians. And what they fear most is our support and our solidarity to the Palestinian resistance. And that is why this solidarity isn't optional, it is something which is absolutely essential to everything that we do. In fact, if there is no way that Netanyahu could get away with what he does without the support of Trump, without the support of the European Union, without the support of Theresa May. All of these are things which are absolutely essential to what he is doing and we have to say enough is enough. We are not going to put up with it anymore. And this solidarity is doubly important because there have been major attacks on our movement in this country. We have built one of the biggest solidarity movements in the world, but look at how they have responded. The Muslim community, which has been exemplary in opposing the attacks on Palestine, in opposing wars, in all the things that it's done, the Muslim community has been under increasing threat with the Prevent program and with Islamophobia, which is growing daily. And we have to say we're not going to stand for that either. One final point that they are also attacking those in the labour movement who stand up for Palestine. We should never have anything to do with racism and we should always oppose anti-Semitism which is one of the worst forms of racism. But we must also be able to distinguish about anti-Semitism which we oppose and criticism of Israel which is absolutely necessary if the Palestinians are going to have justice. So that is what we are standing for here today. And we have, in less than a month's time, another opportunity to get on the streets because Donald Trump has been invited here for a state visit by this bunch in Downing Street over here. He'll be parading around central London with banquets and carriage processions. We are saying now we will be on the streets against Donald Trump. And there are many, many reasons to oppose Donald Trump, but surely the cause of a free and just Palestine has to be absolutely central to that demonstration. Thank you very much.